This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the UH-1H Huey and we're looking at weapons tutorials, so that's guns, rockets and the different ways to arm and fire them and countermeasures. So, first of all let's look at our controls. To fire the weapons, pilot weapon release machine gun fire. Next, to toggle on or off the pilot's XM60 reflex sight, so that's our gun sight as the pilot, pilot sight armed docked, and that's a toggle. And to actually turn the sight on, pilot sight switch, again that's a toggle. Next, we might as well show for the rearmament menu, rearming and refueling window there. You could also get it through communications there to talk to the ground crew. Next, if I want to change stations between the other crew members, one will take me back to the pilot, two, will take me to the operator or what I call the co-pilot on the left, three, the left gunner, four, the right gunner. If I were to be the operator, then I could press M to bring, back, to bring down his flexible sight. If I wanted to toggle for the gunners to be able to use my track IR for aiming, which a lot of you probably will do, then we're going to press track IR aiming on or off, right shift and tango. When it comes to setting up the operator and the two gunners for AI automatic fire, then we can press left, control and two, three and four to cycle between the different ROEs, we'll look at that, and left shift and two, three, four for the length of their burst. First, rearmament. To rearm, we must cycle this intercom switch here with one right click to intercom. This allows us to communicate with the ground crew. Then, rearmament menu as we saw earlier, pylons one, six, two and five are on the winglets of the aircraft and three and four are the side gunners so on one we can have a minigun this is on the flexi uh, mount that we can control and a minigun the other side two we can have rockets either the m261 launcher or the xm158 both of them carry 2.75 inch rockets but it's either a seven or in 19 quantity with warheads high explosive white phosphorus parachute illumination practice smoke, practice or another type of high explosive. Let's just go basic high explosive and the same the other side. For the gunners we can either have them with miniguns or M60s and I'm going to go M60. Flares we can carry up to 60 and for here to make it sensible I'm going to go for 30. Rearm. Once the ground crew says rearm moment complete we're good to go. So first, let's look at firing the forward-facing miniguns and the forward-facing rockets from the pilot seat over to our central center pedestal. Armament panel here. Do we want to fire just right gun or left gun or both? Do we want to be off, safe or armed? Do we want to fire the guns, that's the down position here, or the rockets, that's the middle position here? We're going to go back to guns. That's all we need to fire. We can fire with or without the reflex sight, but we'll put the reflex sight, so as we saw before, reflex sight toggle, reflex sight on. Working this reflex sight and using the ranging properly is a video in itself, and I've got another 10 minute video which I'll link in the video description showing how to use this for ranging, using the charts and whatnot. Fire the weapon, simply pull the trigger as we saw before, and they're going to fire on the longitudinal axis of the aircraft at the crosshair. Next, rockets, 2.75 inch. How many rockets do we want to fire from each launcher simultaneously? One, two, three, four. We're just going to go for one. Otherwise, exactly the same. Pull the trigger. Off we go. Again, back proper ranging and aiming. See the uh, separate video. I'm now done with the pilot seat, so we're going to turn off our XM60 and recage. I'm going to turn back to guns, so it's that guy down there. Next I'm going to press two keys, so I'm going to go over to the operator. I'm going to press M to get the flexi sight, and I could aim with mouse a standard and fire. The guns will pivot on their pivot mount, and fire is just fire the same. Or I could press, as we saw, the command to engage the track IR. It now follows my head tracker, which is pretty cool. It can get a little bit awkward if your head tracker is not set up right, but this looks pretty good. And we can fire on a target there. Now, when we do this, when we become an operator or a crew member other than a pilot, the autopilot will take over. 
and will just carry on flying on its current course. So if we were airborne and we were moving forward for instance, he would just keep on on a straight and level flight path. Now there is no real autopilot in the Huey but it's just simulating another human, if you like, taking over uh, or another AI as the pilot. Note that if we go too far right or too far left, only one of the guns will be able to fire for obvious reasons. I'm going to undock the flexi sight with them. Next, over to our rear crew members. Press 3 for the left gunner. Currently, track IR set up standard, and we can use track IR like so. If we wanted to turn it off, we could do that with the button we saw earlier, and we could use the mouse. I'm going to put it back on, and I'm going to go to the fourth gunner. Track IR is on. Have some of that, sir. And so on. Press 1, back to the pilot. That is all of the weapons using their manual features. Now, if I wanted to use AO gun firing, I would first bring up the crew status bar with left Windows key and H, hotel. We can see here that our co-pilot, our left gunner and our right gunner are on ROE, hold, hold and hold. That's how much ammo they've got left and that's the current burst length they've got. If we were to press left control and two, we could cycle between return fire and free fire three and four left shift and the numbers will cycle between long burst and short burst if we now fly so that we position hostiles at an aspect that those AI gunners can see they will fire at will before we go and do that let's quickly look at countermeasures all we have is flares and apologies I forgot to show you the button flare dispense button there we can manually set this flare counter up to 30 annoyingly we can only go up to 30 even if we had 60 flares when we push a flare now with the flare button assuming that this is armed which it is a flare comes out which is that button there and you can see it counts down if we wanted to jettison all of our flares we could do this lift the cover all of our flares gone that's the countermeasures all we've got left is to go and have some fun with the AI gunners Note, when the AI co-pilot here is turned to anything other than hold, I no longer, as a pilot, have control of the gun. I can pull the trigger and it will no longer fire. I would have to turn him off like that to be able to fire. I can fire again now. Turn him back on. I can't fire. Let's give us some gas. Should find some infantry down here that my guy likes to look off. And there he goes. That's co-pilot firing. They do have amazingly good eyes, but to make up for that, a horrendous aim, as you can see. Those are some very tough soldiers. Let's get the side gunners in action. There they go. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. That's it. That's all I want to show. I hope that's useful and see you later.